All right, fellas, welcome back to another episode of the Four Horsemen. Let me get the casting over here. I have this Plano case, which contains all the the Four Horsemen casting. No space. This is the one we're going to be working on on this episode. If you want to participate next month, this is the next casting. It's a 1987 Dutch D100. And the the theme is, I forgot, I think it's the car, I think that's how you say it, the car racing, yep, the car rally, the car rally is the theme for the Dutch truck, so if you want to participate next month, that's the casting that you need to get. All right, this month, the subject is this, uh, I think it's a 32 Ford, yep, 32 Ford. This one was provided by uh, Keith over at the Outlaw Shop. And the theme for this one is Rat Rod. Nice casting for that. Let me show you something. In the past, I have done a few models with the theme Rat Rod. Here's both of them. This used to be a bone shaker. And this is real rust. I will leave a link up here to those videos so you can see how I did it. It's half Hot Wheels, half uh, Maisto. You see the base? It turned out pretty nice. Check this one out. I really like this one. This one I did it with the uh, soldering iron. So it still has the original rivets. It's a midnight auto. So, because I've already done real rust, I bought this kit like three or four months ago. It's a Vallejo, uh, let me see if, if I see the, the kit number right here. 72.213, is it that one? Must be. I never opened it before. Yeah, 213 right here. So I'm hoping to use the browns and a mixture of the colors. And maybe, maybe use the crackle paint also. And uh, I want to do a, I want to paint it by hand. So the first thing I want to do is, let's drill this apart get the wheel swap out of the way and once I do that we'll deal with the paint I'll be back all right I'm back um, I'm gonna be using these um, mono blocks I really I'm really feeling some colored wheels on this build A few videos back I made a series, three video series on how to make uh, some die cast racers or hot wheel racers, I don't remember the title. So it goes by step, one of the steps is deals with the axles, I know a lot of you guys are not into racing but there's still a lot of tips that work on these type of customs. For example, 
if you want to create your own axles look what I have here stainless steel rods they fit very snugly and they ride smooth look at that I'll leave a link on the video description if you want to get this pack so I have here I've shown you in the past I call this Predator with this I'm going to squish down the end The difference between this and an original axle is this is polished and because it's polished it works a lot better when it comes for racing because the the wheel rides a lot better. Let me see if I can see yeah. The tip is heading, you can't really see it. So this is the, it's gonna be the front. It's gonna be backwards. This is gonna be in the front right here. This should be good enough. Now I flip. see if it works because these monoblocks they tend to be very deep so it's not gonna be short it's actually gonna be a little bit longer which is not a problem yep there it is see too long that always happens with the monoblock wheels but that's not a problem because what we got to do is cut a little more and redo the the end cover your eyes because that little piece is going to go flying all over the place now I got to be careful that it's I gotta do this over here. <laughs> that it doesn't go off flying. Here it goes. It's a little bit tight, but it works. Let me do the back one. Yep, let me squish this in. So if you're planning on going on racing, these type of axles work great. I'm still going to do it backwards. hold it and because I already know that's going to be too long I want to try to go in just a tad hold it and it still went flying but not that far To me, it's a lot easier if I do this on my lap. I can apply a lot more force. Oh, look at the rookie mistake. I forgot to flip. I forgot to flip the wheel. Let me turn it 
test it out anyway. Yeah, it's too short. So, we gotta do it all over again. What a mistake. Forgot to flip the wheel over. That happens. Hold it. Let's go in a little bit. Didn't forget now to turn over, flip the wheel. Squish. Nice and secure. Perfect. So for racing, this is how I remove the axles because the car is faster if it's loose like this if not you have to use a special tool if you're gonna glue them down you gotta use a special tool to make sure that everything is properly aligned because if the if it's a little bit crooked then it's gonna try to go hit the track but that's not gonna be a problem here rolls perfect so now I'm gonna throw this on the paint remover and I'll be back all right I'm back it's been a few days straight out of the paint remover here is the Vallejo paint set from this company is from Spain let me see if I can open this without breaking the box. Right here on top. It opens from the top. Oh boy. The struggles of life. I got it. Well, I have a little bit of a spill here. That's okay. I guess I'll show you every color in case you want to get a kit. Start with this. This is white, rotten white. Hmm. Rotten white. I guess maybe like a bone white. I don't know. Fresh blood. Let me get more light in here. Fresh blood, dry blood. I think this is the one I'm gonna be using. Ooh, vomit. Hope you're not eating. We have here birding, verde gris. Hmm. I like this color. I'm gonna be using this one too. Rust. This is a weird rust. It's a bit too orange. But we'll try it. Dry rust. 
check it out this is what I'm talking about okay so maybe I'll exchange the dry blood with the dry rust or maybe I'll just mix everything I don't know chipping metal I, I watched the video on how this works but I completely forgot but for this I think you gotta use the airbrush and I don't want to use the airbrush I want to go I want to I want to do hand paint all right so my base color is going to be this let me shake it let me put a little bit in there not too much this paint goes a long way and now I do have the the product from Vallejo uh, to thin out the paint but I want to do something different what I have here is some Felipe Segundo Felipe Felipe the second it's a brandy from Spain so let's do an experiment can you mix Vallejo paint with brandy oh I'm gonna have to drink this oh man I can't throw that away hmm well, it seems to be working look at that yeah, that thing smells very nice oh smell it I guess you can't smell it okay let's see so my intention here is maybe the car used to be this color and now it only has like small patches of paint look maybe I added too much brandy that's okay that's okay it's not supposed to be perfect oh yeah that's how we learn let me get some of that paint inside inside the wheel well oh yeah I thought about cutting out the doors but I'm actually running out of time here this video is supposed to go up in like a day so I'm cutting it close this time all right I'm gonna pop this in the oven to dry it out and I'll be back all right I used the uh, my wife's hair dryer it's quicker I can do it right here I guess I could I'm gonna add a little bit more paint cuz it nearly disappeared on me dry it check it out all right let me clean the brush a little bit here it 
doesn't have to be perfect. But let's try out the dry rust. This is the one that was leaking. I want to get, get, I want to get enough. All right, let me clean this up. I cleaned it. All right, so how about we add a little bit more of Felipe? I think that's too much, but it is what it is. This I think looks nice. All right. Yeah, I think I'm adding a bit too much Felipe. A bit too much of the brandy. But it is what it is. I don't want to cover the. I don't want to cover the blue, light blue, the turquoise. I don't know. I don't know what kind of gonna call it. Verde grease, verde grice. I don't know how to pronounce that. Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna go patchy. Patchy, patchy. All right, let me dry it. I'm liking it. I uh, like how it looks. How about we add a little bit of the dry blood? See how that turns out. We'll try it without any Felipe. See how it turns out. If it's too thick, then we'll add some Felipe. Oh, this is a different color. See? Oh yeah. dry I don't know if you can see it through the camera but that really looks like dry blood oh man so fresh blood now Ooh, let me do it in the corner over here that little corner over there let me clean off the brush a little bit It only had the water from the brush and it's still it's still very runny. Let me dry it. I like it. That fresh blood really looks like fresh blood. I'm saying about some vomit. Let's shake it. all the corner over here oh this vomit looks good it kind of looks like baby poop oh this one is thick this one is thick Let 
Let me see if I could dry it here on camera. Maybe everything's gonna go flying off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Check it out. So the Bomit paint is thicker. I think this used to be the the dry, what is it, dry rust. So let's add a little bit more of that with some blue. Start getting some of that patchy back. this dry blood more dry blood Still see the blue. And this looks crusty. Not bad for uh, an experiment. There goes the police. The different shades of the, the paint. Let me dry it. Check it out. You still have the clear, you still see the blue inside the doors right here, right there, a little bit on the front, but yeah, I really like it. It looks like really, really crusty look. So now flat clear to protect everything and I'll be back. I'll leave a link to the kit if you want to get one uh, we're not in Europe so I cannot leave a link to the Felipe Segundo so you're gonna have to get that on your own all right I'll be back all right guys are you ready check it out now when it comes to rat rods there are no rules basically you need to have rust in order to be considered a rat rod but it doesn't mean that you cannot have chrome you can add chrome wherever you want there's people that add different accessories when it comes to like tail lights and the gas tank like for example i could have cut this trunk and put a, a, a barrel in there to simulate a gas tank maybe cut the doors and do something crazy but this took me once it was out of the paint remover it took me I want to say between the cuts and drying I don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes and then I clear coat it with Krylon flat. That thing dries really quick, especially if you put it in the oven at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That took, remember when I did the video, I put this in a bain marie, basically hot water helps stick. It dries really, really quick. It was in and out of the oven in maybe 15 minutes. I did not install the glass. Most of the rat rods don't have glass or the windshield, however you want to call it. But there it is. Purple rims, monoblocks. Like I said, I'm going to leave links to the Vallejo paint kit 
down in the description in Europe you can order a liquor through Amazon Prime imagine if I could do that we can't do that here so you get this at Walmart the Viejo on the in internet I'll leave a link and the brandy just visit your local liquor store thank you for watching peace out